Lighting and adjusting the torch is simple, but it's one more important step to making good cuts. There's two things we need to consider here. First, these cutting tips are designed to operate with a certain amount of gas flow that helps keep the tip from overheating. The amount of flow also determines the size of the flame. Second, we want the correct relationship between the amount of oxygen and acetylene. We'll adjust the gases to a neutral flame where both the oxygen and acetylene are totally consumed by the flame. If you're not familiar with adjusting the torch, a simple way is to open the main acetylene valve about an eighth of a turn and light it. Slowly add acetylene until the flame just about quits producing the soot or smoke. Also, notice how the flame has started to feather out on the end. This should be pretty close to the right amount of gas flow and flame size. Once the acetylene is adjusted, slowly open the oxygen valve on the torch head and the preheat flames will appear. Keep adding oxygen slowly until the long flame comes together with the preheat flames to form sharp cones. This is a neutral flame and how we want the torch adjusted. A neutral flame produces carbon dioxide that purges air away from the heated metal and keeps it from oxidizing or burning until you push the oxygen cutting jet lever. If you don't add enough oxygen, the preheat flames won't sharpen up. This is called a reducing flame and there's an excess of acetylene that will slow down the cut and mess up the oxygen cutting jet. If you add too much oxygen, you get an oxidizing flame. Notice how the preheat flames thin out and the increased rushing noise of the torch. While this flame is a little hotter, the excess oxygen will burn the surface of the metal and may actually slow down the progress of the cut. I'll reduce the oxygen a little. When you have a neutral flame, push the oxygen cutting jet lever all the way. If the preheat flames change, you can readjust the oxygen a little to sharpen them up. To shut the torch off, close the acetylene first, then the oxygen. This way the oxygen snuffs out the flame. If you do it backwards, you may get fire going back down the torch or end up with a little flame at the tip if your acetylene valve is leaking. This is easy to remember. The fuel gas always comes first. You turn it on first and you turn it off first. Now, while you're making the final adjustments, you can adjust the flame a little bigger or a little smaller, depending on the situation, but you can't get too radical. If the flame is too small, it'll take forever to get the metal preheated and you may not have enough heat to sustain the cut. The flame may also pop out. If you try for too big a flame, you may not be able to adjust the preheat flames properly. But whatever the size, tip, or flame, always adjust it to a neutral flame. Also, when you push the oxygen cutting jet lever, you may have to readjust the flame a little bit. If the flame changes a lot, check to make sure that the main oxygen valve is open all the way. Check the oxygen pressure setting on the regulator and make sure there's enough oxygen left in the bottle. Now, when you're first lighting the torch, the soot that acetylene produces is like grease. Once you're familiar with what the flame should look like, you can add a little oxygen before you light the torch. Open the acetylene about an eighth of a turn and give it a little oxygen. Then make your final adjustments. Adding a little oxygen before you light it just helps to eliminate all that soot from floating around. If you're using propane instead of acetylene, adjust the torch the same way. You won't get the soot and smoke, but keep the flame from jumping away from